Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody, what's going on? The Bearded Beast Rob Johnson here with more news from Laneside Reviews. And as the uh, opening crawl said, we are looking at the Damn Good Verge, just announced yesterday from Deviate Bowling. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at this ball uh, a little bit before it goes out there, and we're going to talk a little bit about it. So um, last year, we saw the original Verge Solid come out. Uh, this was the big, beefy, symmetrical ball that we wanted from deviate it was a high flaring uh very very cover strong ball not really a what you would call a hook monster laterally um, like right to left left to right but a ball that really read the uh read the friction very early created a lot of friction with that cover stock uh it was a smoother ball something that you could control especially when the lanes were very oily uh, so now we have the damn good verge, which is interesting because usually we, uh, when we have a solid, we don't see another solid come out again. And yet uh, here we are with this uh, grape sparkle damn good verge. So let's talk a little bit about it. Um, so the Brunswick gurus, their uh, ball making gurus, when they were working on this one, you can actually see the shape has changed slightly from the original. Uh, when they were working on this ball, they actually contemplated making a brand new nameplate for this one. But um, because it was so close to what they already had, they decided to, to come out with this, the Damn Good Verge. And it's almost like a tour version of the original Solid. You can see uh, core-wise numbers, uh, 2.475 for the original, 2.467 RG for the new one. So they've lowered the RG, gotten it to read just slightly earlier. But if you look at that differential, they've decreased the differential just slightly. This is going to allow the ball to get through the heads just a little bit cleaner. One of the complaints that some people had with the Verge was that it was so strong, so cover strong, uh, and such a strong flaring cover, or sorry, core, that uh, sometimes it would get bogged down on the front and it wouldn't have a lot of motion down lane. With this slightly reduced differential uh, in the damn good Verge, this is going to allow the ball to not spin up quite as quickly. It's going to scoot through those fronts sooner. But with that really strong cover, it's now going to see those mids and still have a little bit more shape, a little bit more motion down lane. Uh, so this is going to be uh, same big symmetrical, but now with a little bit more motion. And of course, you see those sparkles in there. Uh, if those sparkles have any kind of texture to them, like the uh, the hero that we saw earlier, the 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 blue and red one. Uh, then this ball is going to have a lot of traction in the mid lane. So uh, for those of you who remember the Verge, uh, I grabbed a couple of shots here from uh, from all of us. You can see uh, Wayne here had to play it fairly straight to the pocket. Uh, it was a ball that got into a roll well formed, but not a huge hooking ball. Uh, you can see same here with Scoops. He played it fairly deep into the oil. He had to have a lot otherwise... Uh, it would it would just burn up early. Myself as well. You can see it's more of a benchmark uh, reaction. It's something that's not going to have a ton of quote unquote lateral hook down lane, but it's a ball that gets into a roll uh, or got into a roll in the heavier style oil. So you can see scoops throwing it there. Um, and this is the one that I, I, I like. I like this kind of ball, especially for the speed-dominant player, so that when there's too much oil, they can actually get the ball to dig in. So that was uh, old guy Wayne there. So with this new one, as we said, it's going to have a slightly less flare, 
but that cover is still really strong. So it's going to have slightly more motion down lane or the potential for slightly more motion down lane because it's not going to use up as much of that cover. It's not, it's going to have uh, itself rolling a little closer or over top of itself on the oil lines. That's what I'm trying to get to. Blech. So when does this thing come out? It's going to be out February 18th. 2020 at your local pro shop. So if you're looking for a, uh, a new benchmark symmetrical, something that's going to go into the center of your bag, uh, as I've talked on my ball motion videos before about uh, that central control ball, this is exactly what I was talking about. This is that kind of ball that you can put in the middle there and control the pocket. You can control not uh, letting the ball get too over under and allow you to build your arsenal around. Uh, so, um, as you can see there, new version of the threshold core. That's how they've done it. Uh, we talked about it a little bit. They've changed the RG. They've changed the differential just slightly. Uh, they've lowered that differential just a little bit to, uh, get it to scoot through the heads just a little bit more before it starts to spin up as much. It's not going to flare as much. It's not going to use as much of that strong, strong cover. So until next time, guys, this is Lane Side News. We'll see you Lane Side. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Lane Side.